still on the second part now and this is the the um, last sub chapter looking at the time frames actually it's not the last sub chapter because now we are looking at the short term time frames and then we are going to take a look at the long term medium to long term time frames now under the short term time frames we should take into consideration the 5 minute the 1 hour and the 4 hour chart this is a 4 hour chart it is important to have all the time elements, all the time frames open at the same time on the same platform. As if, for example, on the five minute chart, price is breaking the higher, um, the highs above the cloud and the bullish environment is established. Then looking at the four hour chart, for example, and seeing the Chinko, it is still on the bearish environment and facing the price in front of it, for example, then this should be a stiff problem so there you go we have to have all the shorter time frames so what we need to do is uh, to save the template this is a template the MetaTrader allows you to save the template here and we we'll call it Ichimoku and this is a four hour chart and now we want to open a new chart file new chart the euro dollar we are opening here the template the Ichimoku template and we had the four hour chart there so we have the one hour chart and we'll have also a new chart the euro dollar we'll choose our template here and we'll choose the Ichimoku and there you go there you go we have it on the five minute chart as well and now we want to put them in an ascending order let's say so the five minute chart then the four hour chart then the one hour chart and then the four hour chart now these are the short term time frames binary options can be traded on short term time frames as uh, as well later in the project when we will when we will trading when we'll uh, we'll treat trading strategies to be used on each time frame when trading binary options and that should be interested to be seen as there are options to be traded for a time frame and makes no sense to look at them on another time frame for example when looking at the five minute chart like it is this one the 60 seconds option will be appropriate but otherwise the higher the time frame the lower the probability that a 60 seconds option will expire in the morning the higher the time frame the more important and powerful of course the support and resistance areas offered by the Ichimoku elements if Chinko is reaching the base of the cloud in an otherwise bullish environment should be treated with more importance as a support area if um, if the time frame watch is the four hour chart and, uh, and not uh, a one hour chart or five minute chart now this is a five minute chart and as you can see on the five minute chart we have a bullish environment here correct bullish environment again what does a bullish environment means a bullish environment means that the chinko is above all the elements below it price kinjun tenkan and the cloud and and the cloud is green signaling bullish environment and Tenkan is big on that King Jun. So we have a bullish environment on the five minute chart. We need to look for confirmation to see how strong the trend is on uh, on the other time frames, on the short term time frames. You'll be surprised to note that four hour chart is also a shorter time frame. So you go on the one hour chart and on the one hour chart do we have a bullish environment? Well not yet I might say because the King June it is still the King June line it is still below the actual price we do have we do have all the elements being respected in, res in the sense that the um, the cloud turned green Chinko is above everything here so we want just to see when the King, the King June travels above here and that would be a bearish environment because you don't have a confirmation a bullish environment because we don't have a confirmation for the bullish environment on the one hour chart then I would not want to trade binary options based on the five minute chart uh, I would not like to uh, to trade the binary options on with higher expiry dates with higher than uh, than a couple of hours expiring dates 
so I would look most likely to trade only 60 seconds options based on it or one hour expiry option or 30 minutes or something like that two minutes uh, binary options also or, um, or um, and so on and so forth if uh, if on on uh, on the other on the other hand if we would have had let's say here a clear bearish environment like it was on the euro dollar uh, on the one hour chart the same on the five minute chart and the same on the four hour chart then that would allow me to look for a bigger expiration date based on the time frames traded if you go on the four hour chart you are seeing that actually it is quite a bearish environment but the bearish environment actually uh, actually ended here and now we are in a transitory cycle in the sense that the Chinko closed with the previous candle 26 periods back the Chinko closed above the candles in front of it and this is where the transitory cycle begins so this is not a bearish environment anymore so not a bearish environment anymore bullish environment on the five minute chart almost bullish on uh, the one hour chart and by looking at the four hour chart normally we should have confirmation so under this situation like price it is looking right here right now i would trade only ba binary options only based on the five minute chart what would be the what would be the best the best place to look for buying binary options here well you look for expiration dates for example a one hour expiration date when chinko across uh, approaches the candles in front of it because 26 periods forward here see you have uh, the possible place for a bounce there is a strong tendency in a bullish environment for the chinko to try to avoid the candles in front in front of it now stay tuned for the next recording we're going to analyze the medium to long-term time frames and that would be daily weekly and monthly charts